Welcome to the short what's new video. I'm Kurt Mempel, the product manager of Test Universe. I would like to give you an overview on the new features of Test Universe 4.30. One of the highlights in this new version are the new features for IEC 61850 protection testing. But we have a separate video with more insights on these. If you've already worked with Test Universe before, you will see at once that the new start screen looks very different. We wanted to have it clearly structured and easier to use, especially for working with OCC test plans. There are four main buttons. New test document creates a new OCC test plan. Below, you have direct access to the protection testing library and the examples of use. Open test document, of course, lets you open a test document and below you find a list of recently used files and could directly open them from here. Test modules and tools gives you access to all the individual tools for standalone use. And under setup and support, you find setup, documentation, links to technical support and tools for diagnosis and calibration. If you want to work with some of the modules more frequently, you can easily directly add them to your favorites bar to have easy access without an additional click. To do so, just go here to the modules and now I click here for, for example, for the differential modules and going back, I can see now they have, I have added them to the my favorites bar and I can directly use them from here. And if I don't want to have them here anymore, I just click here and can easily remove them again. For the automatic assessment, we have introduced two new assessment states. And I made a small example to explain this to you. You see here is an OCC file and there are two modules and both have a new status. A different icon. Looking at the overcurrent, we see the state is test passed, partially executed. Opening it, we can see a little bit more of the details. Two test points have been defined. One has been executed successfully and was passed, and the other was out of range. And the status test passed, partially executed means that there are test points that were out of range and could not be executed. It's the, the idea is to, to tell the user you should have a closer look. If the user thinks everything is fine, he can do a manual assessment. Otherwise, he could repeat the test, change test points or something like that. In this case, we can do a manual assessment and then it becomes green here. The second new state has the same icon, but a different meaning. It's test executed, assessment pending. And in this case, opening it, we see here, if we look at the assessment, oops, no assessment has been defined at all. Therefore, the module cannot automatically assess if the behavior was correct. So there are two options. Again, one could repeat the test and add an assessment. The other thing is one could manually look at the traces here, if everything is as it should be, and then do again a manual assessment. And these are the two new states to give, after a test run, the tester a better overview what has happened and if you should have a closer look. Furthermore, we have improved our test plans for power quality analyzer testing. It would go too much into the details to explain all the improvements. I would just like to show you where you can find these test plans. Just go to the examples of use and then PQ meter type test. And here you find all the different test plans. And typically these test plans are suitable for doing a type test for class A PQ signal analyzers, but a subset uh, of these test plans are also very useful for various testing or even a short field test of a PQ analyzer. I hope you have enjoyed the short introduction. 
The best way to experience more of this new version is of course to try it out for yourself. The update is available free of charge. If you have questions, feel free to contact me or our technical support available 24-7. Thank you.